All right, guys. It has been about 20, 30 minutes. Look at that. You can see the cheese is a bubbling. Hell yeah. Let's give this a whirl. Okay, YouTube, look at that. I am making homemade enchiladas. I haven't made them in a long time. But we went to the Walmart last night and uh, I had a hankering for them. So I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. And uh, something y'all could probably do at home or in the truck or um, you got to be able to bake them somehow I can bake out in my uh, my Traeger so if you're doing them at home you take corn tortillas and you put a little bit of oil in a skillet and you put them in a skillet and you get these good and hot with oil I can't do that so um, we're just gonna skip that step because I don't have a way to do it. But I'm gonna make two pans. Let me just take a little bit of cheese. The first couple's kind of hard because they sometimes they want to unroll. But you just put them in there where they'll stay rolled up and I get eight to a pan so I'm gonna do two pans and that'll give us uh, we're gonna cook today we're gonna do pork chops and uh, sausage enchiladas and then the wifey is going to do um, pork ribs in the pressure cooker Just making a mess but that's why I got this tray underneath so that it doesn't make a huge mess let me get these done and then I'll show y'all I kind of cheat y'all don't yell at me um, but I kind of cheat on the chili sauce just something I came up with one day um, quite a while back and it was a big hit. The wife loved them. Kids loved them. And uh, we've been doing it like this ever since. Kind of like our, our meatloaf. I don't make, we don't make a standard meatloaf when we make a meatloaf. We make a barbecue meatloaf. In which basically instead of tomato sauce or ketchup, we use barbecue sauce. And it all generated from when I was a lot younger, we were broke. You know, a lot of people go through that. We were young and had a bunch of kids, broke. And I wanted meatloaf. We didn't. We couldn't afford ketchup, man. And so we had barbecue sauce, and I was like, "Well, hell, we'll put barbecue sauce on it." And uh, man, that's the only way we eat but meatloaf now. Don, I know you'll watch this. You can attest. You've had my barbecue meatloaf. Um, and it's some good, good tasty stuff. My kids, if they ever uh, figure out how to work YouTube, they can attest to it. That's how they prefer it. Hormel chili, no beans, no beans, Hormel chili. Now, it's kind of funny, when I make my homemade chili, I put beans in them. Any other time, I do not want beans in my chili. I don't I don't get it, I don't know. Mama didn't raise me right, I guess. That's the only thing I can come up with.
be like, oh, yuck. So that's what it looks like. So we have our enchiladas in the pan, and then we have our chili topping. But hang on, wait, there's more. I feel like Emerald Agassi. Wait, there's more. Bam! Um, take this. The cheese that I spilled on here. Put that on top of there. I'll take the rest of this bag. Dump that on top of there. Spread it out. No, we don't need more cheese. I got another bag here in the fridge. Guys, if you're trying to meal prep and stuff in the truck, and y'all go to Walmart like we do, we have found out that, uh, you know, we don't usually buy name brand stuff, but if you buy cheese, whether it's sliced cheese, cheddar cheese, grated cheese, whatever, don't buy the Walmart brand because it won't last. I don't know why. I don't know what it is, but the Walmart cheese does not last like the name brand Sargento or the Kraft. Um, they just don't last. I don't know. We have to throw some of it away. And that just, that chaps my ass to have to throw away food that should have lasted. Okay. go there's the second pan there's the first pan identical and uh, I'm gonna get my shoes and stuff on and I'm gonna get ready to go I gotta get the grill uncovered and plugged in and all that bunch of stuff so I will show y'all the final product appreciate y'all watching guys all right guys I got the smoker up to temperature got it in there we're gonna set a timer for I don't know 20 30 minutes and uh, I'll show y'all the outcome but I just figured I'd show y'all y'all can bake in this it may have a little bit of a smoky flavor but um, you can smoke or cook boil broil grill all that stuff in this thing so stay tuned I'll show y'all the final outcome all right, guys, it has been about 20, 30 minutes. Look at that. You can see the cheese is a bubbling. Hell yeah. Let's give this a whirl. All right, guys, so the enchiladas are done. While the grill's hot, we're going to go ahead and finish grilling up for the day so that I can focus on making y'all more content, getting it all edited and stuff. Take our seasoning, put it on there. Then we're gonna do another package of pork chops, another three pack, and then we're going to uh, do a couple packages of sausage, cut in half and then half again, make them bun length for a quick lunch going down the road. She can just get back there and pop them in the microwave and uh keep on rolling guys i really really appreciate y'all watching our channel it's it's growing faster than i had ever dreamed of um we're not done yet we still want to get a lot bigger reach as many drivers as we can but um y'all are showing me reason to keep doing them so um i really really appreciate uh, y'all watching my videos so hit that like and subscribe and let's get this thing let's get let's let's keep this carousel moving shall we